Hi, I'm Moon Hussain, Manager of Product Marketing at Cisco. And this short video is intended to highlight how the Cisco Telepresence Content Server, or TCS, is an integral component of a broader workflow that allows organizations to very easily capture, transform, and share video to anyone, anywhere, at any time. With Telepresence, we overcame the challenge of distance between parties wishing to collaborate. But we're also familiar with time-based challenges stemming from overbooked or overlapping schedules or possibly team members dispersed across multiple time zones. These limitations can adversely affect productivity and limit our means of collaboration by preventing us from attending all the meetings and live events that are critical to stay plugged in. So how do we extend these knowledge moments to a time that works for everyone? But more importantly, how can this be achieved in an easy, automated, and cost-effective fashion? The Cisco Telepresence Content Server plays a key role in allowing organizations to capture, transform, and share video, thereby bridging not only distance, but also time. This allows us to broaden our reach and add relevancy to me media while leveraging Cisco's MediaNet infrastructure. But before we get into the key features and benefits of TCS, let's explore for a moment common business applications and use cases that can be addressed by this technology. Organization communications, where a CXO may want to disseminate time-sensitive information live to team members across the globe on different types of video-enabled devices, is a key example of how TCS can perform a job that is commonly accomplished using expensive and costly studio equipment with a team of studio experts. We've all encountered situations where missed meetings have resulted in loss of information and productivity, while well, TCS can record telepresence meetings for consumption on different devices by team members at a later time at their convenience, which could be daylight hours in the different time zones or possibly on the go at an airport or a hotel. Finally, organizations are realize, realizing the power of video for delivering training sessions to employees with the understanding that information is more e easily absorbed and retained through these means. TCS can play a key role for delivering training sessions without the overhead of excessive IT budget incurred for this purpose. Now let's drill down to some of the key features delivered by the Cisco Telepresence Content Server. TCS can easily convert any telepresence or video conferencing device into a recording studio. TCS supports both SIP and H323 protocols that allow the flexibility for joining calls between different telepresence endpoints in a heterogeneous environment. TCS has the unique capability to record both studio mode meetings in which a single individual records a message with no other participants on the call, or in this example, the ability to record a more traditional meeting in which multiple parties are collaborating. Here we have two executive personal telepresence systems in a call. At the start of the meeting, a countdown timer indicates that a recording is about to begin. Once the recording has been initiated, a recording indicator is illuminated on the screen to alert all parties that the recording is in session. Once the recording is complete, it can then be very easily shared to different video-enabled devices, leveraging enterprise video management and sharing tools such as Cisco Show and Share. And this can be accomplished through the support of multiple formats such as Windows Media, QuickTime, and Flash. Now, when we discussed our key use cases, if you recall, we talked about organizational communications. Well, here is how TCS can be used for this purpose and extend this use case to reach a broader set of audiences. Here we have a live stream originating from this telepresence system in front of me. And the TCS in this case is being used to stream out this meeting to users on different devices in a variety of bandwidth settings. So at the bottom, we have a user on the corporate network with no network congestion, viewing video at a high resolution, a telecommuter who may have access to limited bandwidth viewing video at an optimized resolution, and perhaps a third user on the go at an airport with a slower connection viewing the live stream on an iPhone. 
Now TCS also works with the Cisco Media Experience Engine 3500 to further transform and tailor the media to play on any device with custom graphics. Now most of the meetings we attend are accompanied by some sort of presentation, whether it's to view an application on a desktop or a PowerPoint presentation. The TCS graphical user interface allows the user or administrator to easily select a custom layout depending on the application. So as the names imply, the switching mode allows the switching between the main video and the content once it's connected. The join mode pairs up the video and the content in a 50-50 configuration. The stack mode stacks the main video on the PowerPoint and the picture-in-picture -picture overlays the video on the corner with the PowerPoint. Switching mode is commonly used for introductory training where rapport with the presenter is important at the beginning, but the main focus throughout the presentation is on the content being shared. The join mode is commonly used when the presenter is equally important or where the presenter is demonstrating physical use of technology or showing a, a close-up camera view alongside the presentation, for example. The stack view is great for telepresence meeting recordings. And the picture-in-picture -picture is great for limited screen real estate where both streams are required, but the presentation is emphasized. A much sought-after capability that is supported by TCS is the ability to granularly specify who can and cannot view recorded or live content for that matter. In this first example, we have the same organizational communication use case where an SVP wants to provide wide access to all team members. In the next use case, however, I may want to record this meeting and provide access to only a subset of team members and disallow viewing privileges from other team members. And finally, in the third case, I may have two live sessions and assign viewing privileges to two different teams. Another key point that needs to be emphasized here is the usability aspect of group assignments. TCS makes this very easy through LDAP integration. So, in conclusion, organizations realize that um, video plays a very important role for communication. The Cisco Telepresence Content Server works in concert with the Cisco MXE 3500 to deliver media transformation and Cisco Show and Share, which provides easy video management and sharing capabilities. These solutions are purpose-built to extend the utility of telepresence and video conferencing deployments by allowing users to capture, transform, and share meetings with anyone, anywhere, at any time, in an easy and cost-effective manner. For more information on the Cisco Telepresence Content Server, please follow the link below and thanks for watching.